Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Today is a beautiful morning. No, afternoon. No, not that either. Evening. It is a beautiful evening. And uh, I'm about to start the beginning of a very long excursion of destroying brush out in the pasture. I know that there's many of you who enjoy these videos and honestly, I'm one of those people who are on board with it because I really do enjoy seeing brush being destroyed. But I am about to hook the JCB up to the Brushmore, which I parked over by the barn. Uh, we just got done with planting soybeans, so we don't actually need the telescope over at the farm anymore to move the seed boxes. So now I can mow in my free time. So there's a lot going on right now around the farm, obviously, since it's planting season and whatnot. But uh, we had a call from the neighbors the other day, and they are wanting to uh, bulldoze and replace the fence line between us and them. And it's quite a long fence line. It actually starts right down here on this corner, which I believe is our fence, but uh, we don't have any cattle along it. So in my opinion, it's their responsibility to maintain it, um, even though that's not the law. It's actually our responsibility to maintain it, but we don't have any cattle out there, so we're not worried about it. Their cattle haven't really gotten out here that I've seen, so it is what it is. But anyway, um, they do want to replace everything from this corner all the way to the southwestern corner, which is just beyond the barn there. And then it runs up to County B. So there's a long stretch of fence between us and them that they want to bulldoze and replace. And I totally get it, I get it. Um, it kind of puts me in a pinch because I'm supposed to be getting my cattle out here uh, into the Klein pasture. Actually, I wanted to do it by now already, honestly. But um, if we can get that done, it'll be really nice having that fence replaced. And if we can bulldoze it with the brush more, I know that I can keep the trees down for the foreseeable future. So uh, this begins the long excursion of going out into the pasture and trying to mow out some of that brush. I'm not trying to kill the large trees, uh, the nice trees that are out there. You know, I, I don't want to get rid of those. What I'm trying to get rid of is the invasive species, the the thorn bushes, anything that prevents the cattle from utilizing the ground from going out there and eating grass off it. And uh, personally, I feel like the bigger trees provide cover for the cows, so it's not like I want to get rid of them. Plus, they kind of block my view from everything that way, <laughs> which is good and bad in some ways. Uh, it's one of the reasons that I can't get uh, internet from point to point out where I live, because I live in this little valley, and there's trees over in that corner, which also prevent me from getting internet, good internet here. So, uh, anyway, uh, what do you say we hop in the JCB and get started? Uh, this is going to be probably more than just one day. Now I'm going to do some tonight, and I'm going to do it in my free time whenever I get the chance. Tonight I'm feeling particularly motivated. I got my iced tea already mixed up, so we're good to go for at least a couple hours. Looks like we do have a bit of a battle scar right there. The blades, they've got their nicks. Some larger than others. Let's -a go! Just 30 minutes ago, I could not have walked up this hillside. All of it looked like that. So right now, I'm down below my house, two hillsides over to the south. And uh, this was all logged off a couple years ago. So treetops are laying like this, so I can't get back into there. But eventually I would like to be able to burn all these spots out and then mow those off too. But for right now, I want to make it navigable. And uh, <laughs> the first pass up here, I went from, you can't even see how far I went down. The bottom's way down there. But just drove straight up the hillside all the way as far as I could to the top. A little bit of work, I might be able to break out up there and get to the top of the hillside, which is clear. Which is so much wasted space. Just 
Okay, these guys are literally the cutest thing ever. For the record, you touched me, I didn't touch you. <laughs> so I'm not gonna stick around. I don't want to cause any problems with the mom. But I just thought that'd be something cool to see. Oh boy. You can tell these guys were just born. You can tell just by looking at how it's bed down and there is fresh blood. So he's making his first steps. Sure is a beautiful evening, isn't it? Sure would be a shame if something happened to really mess it up. Uh, well, uh, that's pretty much gonna be a wrap for this video. I'm gonna make a video on getting the track back on. So uh, that'll be in our next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. There's a lot more to come. And uh, be sure to stay tuned for my video where I show how I'm going to get the track back on the JCB. So, uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.